Yes. Now we'll discuss about the pancreas. This is costal margin. Here is anterior superior iliac spine. Here is pubic tubercle. This is inguinal ligament. This is diaphragm. Here is These are two horizontal and two vertical lines which divide the abdominal cavity in nine region. In this diagram, this is position of pancreas. Here is this is position of the pancreas. Pancreas lies in left hypochondrium, epigastrium, and umbilical region. It, it, it extends from here is position of concavity of duodenum and here is position of Spleen. So it extends from the concavity of the duodenum to spleen. Its length is about 15 to 20 centimeter, width is about 3 centimeter, and its thickness is about 2 centimeter. Its weight is about 90 grams. It is divided into four parts. This part is head, this is neck, this is body and this is tail. We will discuss about the head of this. Head has, this is superior border, inferior border and right border. So head has three borders and two surfaces it has three borders and two surfaces and one process so head has three borders two surfaces and one process that is known as uncinate process this is one process that is uncinate process this is uncinate process now, relations of the head. This is position of inferior vena cava. This is inferior vena cava. Here is right crust of the diaphragm. This is abdominal aorta. And here is position of head. So head is posteriorly related with the inferior vena cava, renal veins of the diaphragm, right crust of the diaphragm and here is aorta, abdominal aorta. So posteriorly it is related with three structures, these three structures. And anteriorly, if you see from anterior side, anteriorly it is related with the, if you make another diagram, Anterior it is related with the here is position of first part of duodenum here 
This is transverse colon near inch. Coils of small intestine. So the structures related anterior. Now we will discuss about the neck. One important thing and then that is this ancillary process anteriorly related with the here lies superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein. So this ancillary process anteriorly related with these these two structures. So here is superior mesenteric vein and this is superior mesenteric artery. And this process posteriorly related with the abdominal aorta. Now, second part that is neck. This is neck. It has superior border, inferior border, and anterior and posterior surface. If we make a diagram of the neck, this is neck. The structure related with the posterior side. This is superior mesenteric vein, this is splenic vein, and this is portal vein. So, three structures related on the posterior side of this neck. And structures related on the anterior side, if you make another diagram, this is neck, anterior side. Here, pylorus is related. This is pylorus. Here, pylorus lies. This is the stomach, and here is portion of the pylorus. So, pylorus lies adjacent to this. <coughs> now, third part. This part is body. Body is triangular. If you cut section, it is triangular. Body is like this is like this. This is triangular. It has superior border, inferior border, and anterior border. Three borders and three surfaces. This surface is anterior surface. This is inferior surface. And this surface is posterior surface, posterior, inferior, and anterior surface. So it has three borders and three surfaces. If you see the relation of this posterior relation, posteriorly, there is if you add in this diagram, there is left crust of the diaphragm. This position of left kidney, this is supradenal gland, left supradenal gland, and here lies position of the spleen. So this is neck, this is body. So this body posteriorly related with the abdominal aorta, left crust of the diaphragm, left suprarenal and left kidney. And under structure from spleen, there is splenic vein which joins with the superior mesenteric vein and forms the portal vein. So it, this splenic vein also lies on the posterior relation, on the posterior surface, here. Superior border, this is superior border, the superior border is related with the, here is ciliac trunk, here is, this is splenic artery, this is splenic artery, superior border is related with the splenic artery, here lies anterior border, this anterior border related with the, here, the, and along the anterior border, here root of 
मीजो कोलन या टाइम्स ये रूट ऑफ मीजो कोलन रूट ऑफ ट्रांसवर्स मीजो कोलन दिस इज ट्रांसवर्स मीजो कोलन अटैच हियर अलोंग द एंटीरियर बॉर्डर एंड दिस इंफीरियर बॉर्डर दिस इज रिलेटेड विद द सुपीरियर मेजेंट्रिक आर्टरी एंड सुपीरियर मेजेंट्रिक वेन नाउ सरफेस दिस superior surface this anterior surface related with the stomach here you can see this is stomach the anterior surface related with the stomach and lesser side this inferior surface is related with here is position of coils of the intestine so this is coils of the intestine here coils of intestine is present this is coils of the intestine now relation of the tail of the pancreas this tail here you can see this is spleen here is portion of left kidney and this is tail of the pancreas this is tail of the pancreas this is tail of the pancreas it is related with the hilum of the spleen this is covered by this is peritoneal covering to this here is splenic artery and this is leno renal ligament so this ligament is leno renal ligament within the leno renal ligament the tail of the pancreas lies along with the tail of the pancreas there is splenic artery also present and these structures form the content of the leno renal ligament so these are the relations of the pancreas thank you